this uh, for this class. We're going to do sli something slightly different than what the level one and level two did. They did short form improv. We're going to do long form improv, and that's more like a play, but it's all made up. So um, I'll let them introduce themselves. Dustin, Josh, Travis, Cindy, <laughs> Megan, <laughs> Ian, Quinn. My TA, she did an awesome job. Uh, let's give it up for the level one and level two before us. <laughs> so for this show, we're going to be performing. They are going to be performing a La Ronde, which is a French term. That means the show is going to be very fancy. <laughs> it's a French joke for you guys. Um, so to start us off, Kate is going to ask me for a suggestion, and they're going to just jump into it. So, Kate, if you would. So in a minute, I'm going to ask you for a location. The fun of a Laurent is we're going to get to see a lot of different characters in the same kind of world that know each other. So what's a place you'd go to where you'd meet a lot of different people Leather that knew each other? Leather Art. Leather Art. Church. Air 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 I think, I think there were so many great suggestions. I would like to take all of them, but no. Uh, I think Leather. Airport is what I heard yeah. first, so we'll go with Airport. All right. <laughs> So, uh, when the lights come up, uh, corn dog stabbing will pre present airport. Oh, my flight was canceled again. It's been 72 hours, and uh, <laughs> it, this is starting to get a little bit inconvenient. <laughs> You need a uh, airport romantic seven thousand. <laughs> I can just stay here for days. I've I've lived here it, for, for for a fortnight. I never understood fortnight was like seventy two hours, but now I know. Yeah. So it's like a sleeping pod. I've seen like the Japanese. They really they've come to invent these amazing sleeping pods. Yeah, it, it, this is contraband. I have to hide under the chairs every time this. The uh, canine dog it, comes I mean, by. Yeah, it's, very, it's very smelly. It's very camouflaged. So I'm so happy that we met because I'm going to be here for another three hours at least and I need some sleep. Yeah, you know. So um, what, what we have right here is the um, I need some sleep option. Sleep. Uh -huh. And uh, it just knocks you right on the head for exactly three hours. Oh, it knocks me unconscious? Yeah, it's right in the head. You wake up three. To seven days later. No, yeah. <laughs> I saw a Will Smith movie uh, about like concussions. Like, all layers. No, there's no. I mean, has there been any studies about like head injuries from this? What knocks you unconscious? Well, they have a sample size of five thousand in Japan right now. They're just knocking people right in the head. Oh. There's all seven came back yet. Okay, so it's, it's like a beta testing. Well, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. Uh, yeah. What other options do they have? Do they have like a lucid dreaming option? I've always wanted to try that. Yeah, that one was uh, $29.95 and I couldn't afford that. Uh, well, I mean, if you're adding well, it on top of like a $50 sleeping pod. Uh, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's not worth the extra <laughs> We have the uh, princess sleeping option. If she puts makeup on you, you wake up and you're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. Uh, uh, your face is all purple. Uh, right we now. couldn't afford the dyes. <laughs> so you wake up and you've got oh, all oh, purple okay. makeup. <laughs> and then we have the... Um, well, I think purple complements me, so I'm sure... Uh, yeah, it does. It brings bright your eyes right out. You know, i got to say, with the purple on your face really... Um, startled me at first when we were looking at the departures board, but I now I'm like, I, I surely do, yeah. There's not a king option or a prince option, just well, a princess. Uh, the king option was very controversial. Um, essentially what happened was, um, <laughs> Listen, I bought this Japanese sleeping pod for 50 bucks.
us, the U.S. And <laughs> they cannot be unconscious. Now they've, um, I've been, they've been telling me that they've done a trial run on, on 5,000 Japanese people. Um, so the results as far as concussions haven't come back yet. Uh, that was a question that I raised. But it looks like a little gavel just comes down and pops it right on the, on the cerebral. And it knocks you unconscious. And you're asleep for as long as you want to be. Much like that Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Lawrence, was he in? That movie. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. I know. We're here. Our layover, I swear, we need some rest. Now, um, I've already taken a little anything about my purple makeup. <laughs> Do you want that to change? Mm -hmm. Can I have more? <laughs> it depends. 
I need you to do a better job. I need you to sniff out more illegal things. I need you to do better at the airports. There are perpetrators out there sleeping on pads that do their makeup. <laughs> and my side business is makeup, and I'm not making money. You know what I think you need to do? You should take a nap on this semester. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, hello, Officer Susie. I remember you were here last week when I got detained. <laughs> yes, uh, Fester. Fester. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, you play around with that little dog every time I'm in here. But I think you're being too hard on me. <laughs>
or so complaints about your pat downs and see. <laughs> most, most of the clients that fly through here, they're just, they're just touching and going, they're just getting right on out. Right? When you detain them and you make them do that whole little hammer dance thing, <laughs> talking all some kind of European, I don't know, he was, the fellow looked very, yeah, didn't have no yeah, hair on yeah. He said, he said, you held them so long that his chocolate melted all over. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I cleaned them up. <laughs> let, me, let me step back to the complaints. <laughs> Ma'am, you can look right there on the box. Yes. It, it says German chocolate, but it was farmed right out of Montana. But it was the way that you cleaned him up that was the, that was the issue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, are you saying that you want me to do that to you? <laughs> Locks. No. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, I've got the chocolate right here. But, <laughs> <laughs> that chocolate's already been melted. It, it wouldn't really stick to me quite the same. <laughs> yeah. So. Do I need to go get some chocolate? Uh, basically, what I want you to do is anything that gets you out of my office <laughs> right now. <laughs> guards you're hiring are dumber than a box of rocks. <laughs> you gotta do something about this. I apologize to you, sir. It's they do a pretty good job except for that whole detainment area. <laughs> it's kind of an important area. <laughs> but it's really if you exclude everything else out of the whole airport, you know. 10,000 foot runways out there, lots of lots of big old airplanes, people running around and stuff. Really, the detainment area, it only holds probably about two to three dozen people. I'm not talking square footage wise, I'm talking about service wise. I'm getting a lot of complaints about your security guards uh, so, so sexually harassing the customers. But they only come from that one spot. <laughs> That's not the problem. <laughs> it's the way in which they're doing their job. The customers are complaining and we just cannot continue this way. What? But I don't really know what you want me to do. They, they passed all the background checks. They were vetted. They have, they have really long tongues. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, their tongue length was not part of the application process. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not a requirement, but it was uh, it was in the preferred. Uh, <laughs> you got to read way down the bottom of the application. It's in a little small print. I have no idea how tongue length uh, equates to security uh, knowledge, but I'll go with it right now. So we need better procedures in place for uh, your future hiring practices. And I just don't think we can continue on hiring these, these idiots that you keep finding. <laughs> I have a suggestion for you, okay? I've been doing a little bit of research. Over in Japan, they got these little sleeping boxes. <laughs> made a really weird nightmare. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm what do you want? I'm the president of the person. Yes, I've heard about your sleeping device. <laughs> I've heard about your sleeping device, and it has been causing quite a bit of distraction in my airport. 
a good distraction, right? This, this, this has the king option, the, the princess option, and uh, do you want to use it? I got a hammer. <laughs> Frankly, it's a safety concern, and I don't know why the hell you're living in my airport. <laughs> well, I mean, I missed one flight. You know, I was, I was running to a flight, and then it flew up. It was, it was, a, it was a rush. So now when I book flights, I, I book flights that I can't make. <laughs> and I need to move somewhere. So this, you know, from Japan, 5,000 studies, and no one's dead yet. Um, I, I hide it. I probably shouldn't have told you. You're going to be cool with that, right? <laughs> so this device, it allows me to go to sleep at any time. So perhaps I could try it. I, do you have an insomnia problem, so... That's probably from the high stress being president and all. You know. Yeah. It's a, it's a respectable job. So... I you don't mind the smell, right? It's atrocious, you know? <laughs> if I'm the president, you get a lot of women, I know. Um, but if, if you get past that, we get a lot of dogs that try smelling it, and they stop talking, and that's that effect. So if you're against talking dogs, that's really the only defect here. I'll just jump in and see how it goes. All right. So uh, I just strap in right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 let me help you with that. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make you a princess. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a princess. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> all right, now, um, all right, and here's your sleep option. <laughs> Beautiful, right? We, I can sell you fifty. Every single passenger. Maybe, you know, all the dogs and stuff, and everyone can just sleep at the airport. We charge them rent. We go to business. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too late. Save!